Hi guys, welcome back to the Zebra Tribe fam. So as promised, I am giving you guys another hair video today. I'm trying to do these at least once a week so you guys can just get the gist of, you know, what I do with these girls' hair in the house. So beginning with Charlotte, that's whose hair I am combing in today's video. And to be candid with you guys, her hair has always been the hardest, the toughest to understand, the toughest to figure out. But over the years, if you guys can go all the way back to the beginning of my first hair videos, if you were to type in Zebra Tribe Hair on YouTube, you will see that I've come such a far way in just learning to handle her hair. Her hair is super thick, it's super curly, it's coily, and it's when it gets tangled, it's tangled, but I have learned that her hair absolutely loves coconut oil and it is my saving grace when it comes to dealing with her hair. So the product that I showed you initially, if you wanna move back a little bit, you'll see that I showed you a leave-in conditioner which I found coming, I found in Marshalls or Winners and it is the bomb, y'all. It Leaving it in her hair for about two or three minutes and it really helps to get her hair detangled and obviously, um, you know, I'm, I've come a far way in using the Tangle Tamer. I used to think the Tangle Tamer was actually the thing to help to detangle her hair, but honestly it stressed me out because it just wasn't doing it. So I've resorted to using a large tooth comb, thanks to all of you guys. I mean, it's been a while now. It's been in our hair care routine for a little bit, but yeah, I'm using it and it's doing the trick. So I'm just going to have you guys follow me through this video, watch me detangle her hair. As I get a little closer to the top, I have to ensure that I comb out the roots a little bit too. And keep in mind, because I know someone's going to say it, keep in mind that I'm not being rough with her hair. This is just fast paced and at the same time it is a little tangled so I have to use a little bit of strength. <laughs> but um, she didn't cry and she didn't say ouch she was on her tablet enjoying herself so she was good um yeah but i'm just gonna i will talk here and there throughout but i hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned for the finished product her twist out at the end of this was amazing it's really really cute so it's definitely worth watching till the end so thank you guys for coming along if you want to see more hair videos subscribe on this channel as well as our hair channel zebra tribe hair because i do put hair videos on both so enjoy the video and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up y'all oh i almost forgot to mention to you guys that on our hair channel as well there are an archive of all the hair videos we've ever made and put together and they are also categorized by each child's hair so if there is a child in particular hair who you're interested in checking out definitely go over there because you can find it and there are playlists associated with each of them so yeah it's definitely worth checking out and any kind of love that you'll show over there like giving a thumbs up or subscribing to our channel is definitely going to show support and help it grow. So 
over the period of showing you guys my daughter's hair a lot of you guys have always asked why um, I let them wear their hair in protective style so much but this little section here will actually kind of show you why I do that because when they wear it out if I don't have the time to put it back in like some kind of, of a protective style immediately then this is exactly what happens their hair gets super tangled and that's why I'm kind of showing this in like super raw footage because with you know making videos for you guys a lot of the rawness gets cut out so you don't always get the gist of like how you know difficult her hair can be to manage but like i said once i once you figure it out it really helps a ton and you slow down you know this this here this style took about an hour to do or maybe a little bit over because she wore it out for about four days and it she did not have it back in a protective style immediately and when it's not in a protective style it dries out quickly and that is exactly what leads to the tangle so you can invade this if you're a mom with mixed kids and yeah, obviously your kids gonna have mixed hair. <laughs> there are different levels of mixed mixed hair, by the way. But if you have to um, deal with this, keep that in mind. Protective styles help, and once you take them out, the hair dries out much faster. So you have to kind of keep moisture in by doing something to seal in the moisture at the end of the day or else you are gonna wind up in this situation and it's gonna take your time. It's gonna take, and I trust me, I don't mind spending the time in my daughter's hair at all, but I less is more. If I could spend a little less time having to do this because I do have you know, two hairs at the current moment that I'm trying to do. Michaela is old enough, she takes care of her own hair, but I don't mind helping her out too from time to time. But the other two, I really do have to maintain their hair. And so if the less time that I have to spend doing hair, the better. And, you know. If you guys are enjoying this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment down below because that, all those things sent me a big message indicating that you are liking it and it also helping our channel grow because you know I do like to put out these videos. I want them to get out there to people who enjoy them, people who want to learn about hair and people who don't mind following the journey. Like my, this has been a journey for me. I didn't wake up knowing what to do yesterday. Like I, it's a journey. I'm trying to figure it out as I'm going along and so I definitely want to inspire others and let them know that don't give up you may not know exactly what you're doing today but you know tomorrow is another day and just try try your best and you will get there Hi guys, so it is late at night and I wanted to show you the completed um, result. This is what Charlotte's hair looks like. It looks really great. This is the 
that's the result of her twist outs and they kind of look like little mini ropes but that's what it looks like overall I'm kind of interested in seeing what it would look like tomorrow or when we do take it out perhaps it'll be tomorrow or the day after we'll see turn it around this way but all I used in it were the two products that I showed you I used the Cantu curling cream to twist it and as you can see it's got lots of um, vol what do you call it? not volume but lots of movement it's nice and uh, the fact that her hair still stays pretty twisted close to the root is a great sign so this is one of the very first times I feel like I've done a twist out like this in her hair over the years I've been uh, kind of tweaking things a little bit to try to modify it and get the best results for her hair and I think we're finally getting there so hope you guys enjoyed this vlog stay tuned for the takedown of her hair as well but this is the twist up results it's her first twist up and um, yeah I think she's pretty excited about it so we'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye bye guys hi guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe subscribe subscribe Thank <laughs> you.